smartly. Why get the best way that I can without stepping on people's toes? So if this was you, and you were doing this too, would you like it? Me in the same car as myself and my nigga. Like, we've gone to the club, we've chilled. I feel like crying right now. How many days have you been with Angel? Jay, I was like, organize a family package for his family. Uh, outside the house, but they don't want to set a good show. Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is from Pop with Lillian. How are you all doing? And this is me bringing you all the, all the midnight drive, all the midnight gist in Biggie's house. So starting with White Money. White Money earlier this evening advised Alex. In as much as she has been calm, you know, trying to tone it a little bit, he just went ahead to advise her to try and stay away from Sissy. That during the truth or dare game, why did she mention Sissy's name? That that was a red flag. That she shouldn't try that next time, whether as a joke or not. That at times in this house, people, you might think you're, you know, being funny. But people take things to extreme. And why Alex was trying to explain that it was just a game and she trying to be friendly. That she was even happy seeing that the Sissy of this season is beginning to make friends. That unlike in their set, Sissy had no friend. White Money went ahead to tell her to just try as much as anything that, you know, bring a contact between her and Sissy. She had to try and cop it. Meanwhile, Ilebaye reached out to Angel to apologize and talk based on their previous grievances. And Angel said she's really surprised at the Ilebaye she's seen in the house. That outside of the house, she has hanged out with Ilebaye. That Ilebaye even know her boyfriend. That she's surprised really to come into the house now. And Ilebaye is acting so different. And is that she even have Doyin as friends. And Ilebaye returned said, you know what? That she was surprised seeing you in the house again. Seeing you in the house and you're acting different as well. <laughs> and then they went ahead and said, maybe it's the house. That the house has a way of getting into people. And Ilebaye added, oh, you say that I'm hanging out with Doyin always. You're hanging with Mercy. And then just said, no, I'm not always hanging with Mercy. Mercy is my friend. But then I'm hanging with almost everybody in the house. But you, you are just always with Doyin. After they have discussed, Angel said, you know what? I respect you for being the one to reach out. But because she's not big on this, she doesn't reach out to people. And she went ahead to apologize to Ilebaye. She even said, Oh, I apologize if I made you feel this way. And at the end of the day, they both gave each other a hug. <laughs> Ike, who is now the head of house, had a conversation with Venita privately. And he told Venita that being the HOH this week, that he's definitely going to create more enemies. That... You see this week he's not taking chances that even if Mercy tried to act otherwise, she will collect. And they went ahead to discuss the whole strategy thing on who they save they will be saving. And Ike said, I know if I tell Fraud I nominated him to be saved, he will doubt that. And he also told Venita that oh, you know, Kid thinks in his mind that see Ike saved him. He even told Venita that moving forward, he doesn't think he wants to be in any alliance again. He wants to play with his heart going forward. <coughs> Meanwhile, betrayed Kid Wire poured out his heart to Messi, telling Messi that he doesn't think the whole alliance thing is working out for him. That as their group planned, you know, who their group planned to save eventually didn't turn out that way. Meanwhile, in case you missed this, Kid Wire actually offered coins and money to some housemates in order to nominate him to be saved. Now, name came up and is not Kidwaya. And he went ahead to tell Mercy that moving forward, he doesn't want to involve in any strategy thing again. And Mercy said that she herself, she likes playing the game freely. So that whenever he gets in there, she can nominate whoever she wants to nominate without feeling any kind of guilt. But we will change it for her if not. Without us, without us, she has no... Kidwire also prepped Mercy's mind up by telling her 
not to expect any pardon on me from any housemate. That a housemate sees you as a threat and that that nobody will try to pardon you. And Mercy even agreed to that and said yes. That she knows that Sin has a threat. They'll be wondering why is she here again since she has won once. And she told Kid why that her prayer is that anytime people, um, people are up, let it also be strong contenders as well. That she wouldn't want to hear you know, they will come and pardon a strong contender as well. Let them all be up. That it gives a kind of, you know, communal feeling. You are not the only one panicking and all that. <laughs> On the other hand, Doyin has tried to advise her sister Ile Baye to be very careful of Iki. That Iki will be doing anything possible to make sure she goes this week. That she should look out for signs and triggers from him. And be careful of them. The CC informed her how Ike said he's, he's ready to, you know, mess the labor you up. That even the whole conversation, Venita was present and they were all ganging up against a labor. And Ilabia said, of course, she will be staying to herself. And if you notice to her today, Ilabia has been calm and, you know, staying just to herself, except for this evening that she began to cheer up a bit. And she even promised doing that moving forward, she won't be drinking so she can act all cool by herself for herself. She also says she's aware of the whole EK thing and that during the diary section, she will inform Big Brother. And doing as well added that she'll be informing Big Brother on her behalf. Still on strategy and alliance, Cross and Perry had a conversation regarding the whole pardon me thing. And Perry told Cross that he nominated him cross for the pardon me but then kid thinks he nominated him he went ahead to inform cross that if any housemate asks you who perry nominated for the save me you should tell them alex <laughs> but if kid asks me i will say i nominated him honestly at this point i feel the ladies are not playing this game like the guys because the whole alliance thing at the end of the day, the first week summer was saved, this week fraud. Anyway, let's see how it goes for the ladies. That wasn't all as Cross told Perry that he really wished Liqua Rose was in the house. That if Liqua was here, they would have played this game to the fullest. And Cross even added that, oh, he just feel like crying at the moment. In fact, they could have replaced Angel with Liqua Rose. <laughs> oh man, I wish Nico was here. I wish Nico was here. Uria is currently in charge of kitchen and she just complained to fraud that she's beginning to hate White Money's attitude towards her. That the way White Money was even looking at her was in a very disrespectful manner. That even when she asked for some of the items in the house, that the response from um, White Money wasn't in a very jovial one. Meanwhile, White Money has said this evening that he doesn't see the need to assist Uriel. That while he was in the kitchen, he makes sure he does everything by himself. He cooks, he cleans. If others feel like assisting, good and fine. That he doesn't know why Uriel wants, you know, be, be there and still wants him to assist. That it doesn't go that way. That if Uriel cannot go ahead and make communal meal, you know, everybody will still survive. That besides Uriel, there are other great chefs in the house. That Neil can cook, even Fraud can cook. That in fact, everybody in this season can cook. That if anybody feels hungry, a person should go in there and cook. If there is no food, you make noodles and or sardine and bread and all that. That they are all the adults. And last, last, everybody will still survive. <laughs> Fraud still went ahead to appreciate Angel for nominating her for pardon. And asked that is the reason behind her motive that he's yet to know, but he's very grateful. And Angel even said, Okay, aside nominating fraud for it, pardon me, that she also went ahead to canvas for fraud to be pardoned. That even Soma that wanted to save her, she told Soma, Please use that for fraud. <laughs> Ike also gave mercy. A precaution that this is unlike before that this time around he's in charge and Messi said you know what I'm a kingmaker 
if you try to mess me up i will make you and Ike even added that he's going to deal with your girl and when Messi asked which of my girl you know Ike made this mouth movement referring to where Ili Baye was seated and Messi was like oh pardon her now I'm like what sort of thing is this will you just you know try to mess someone up that is not in your face or what I beg you they should leave my Gen Z body for me Housemates went also went ahead to involve in a little um this this their concert concert game or whatever and you know they are just making noise in the garden after which they came into the kitchen and alex decided to make some egg sauce that they will eat with bread after making this egg sauce Perry couldn't understand why four eggs will be served to five people because why Perry, um alex cross and Ike, we are you know discussing about the whole frying of egg thing angel wasn't in the mix but then angel came saying she needed food to take her medication but she's yet to see the planting the house ordered and um, alex decided to give her a portion of the meal but then Perry was like no that he needs to make you know fry some other sauce for himself that why would five people be sharing for four fried eggs and until alex now explained to him that angel requested to have some so she can take her drugs <laughs> meanwhile angel is not happy with how ek take things upstairs angel was sad that even after big brother mentioned that the hoh gets special treatment that he guess he went ahead to take things like plantain and banana upstairs and then she pointed out that that's such a selfish act that you already have stuff that will be enough for you for the whole week yet the little they have downstairs you still took his help meanwhile the guys were discussing on how housemates have been sticking in low coins that is not helping matters in terms of buying of food meanwhile ilibaya had a very refreshing conversation with cross that made her giggling and laughing everywhere after that she also had a conversation with white money and white money was asking her what's the reason why are you in the south and when she mentioned she came in to win the 120 million white money pointed that that's not a reason because everybody in the south came in for the 120 million and then she went ahead to explain that she see a second chance to showcase herself and all that and white money advised her to try and keep to that <laughs> because white white money even say that 120 million can finish in a day if you make a wrong investment but building yourself is all you need to make it in real world anyways thank you for listening to all this midnight drive i hope you enjoyed listening to the details if you did please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that and i'll see you in my next video meanwhile i can't wait to read your comments as well see you next time bye Names.